This video is a review of the Kinetic Theory of Gases chapter of the Chemical Thermodynamics and Kinetics playlist. We start by looking at the average kinetic energy and velocity of an individual particle inside an ideal gas. So the average energy, which is only kinetic energy inside an ideal gas, is equal to 3 halves times the Boltzmann constant times temperature. So the root mean squared average velocity of a particle is equal to the square root of 3 times Boltzmann constant times temperature divided by the mass of an individual particle, which is equivalent to the square root of 3 times gas constant times temperature over the molar mass. So plugging in these values for something typical like nitrogen 2, the main constituent of air, at 298 Kelvin has an average speed of 515 meters per second or about 1,000 miles per hour. Um, we can find the full distribution of these speeds and their probabilities in the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. The function which defines the probability uh, speed distribution is equal to a normalization constant 4 pi times m over 2 pi kt to the 3 halves times the speed squared times e to the minus mass times speed squared over kt giving us this kind of distribution whereas the temperature gets higher and higher we get a distribution that's more spread out uh, over a larger set of values with the peak further down um, in higher speeds the most probable speed is then the square root of 2 rt over m slightly less than the rms speed and the average speed is in between the root mean squared speed and the most probable speed being 8 rt over pi m we can compute the mean free path, which is the average distance a gas particle travels between collisions with another gas particle, where the collision rate of an individual particle, Za, is equal to the square root of 2 times its density, sigma, times its cross-sectional area, the area it sweeps out as it's traveling through space, times its average velocity. The mean free path can then be expressed in terms of either uh, volume per particle or uh, temperature and pressure. The mean free path is V over square root of 2 sigma n, which is also equal to RT over the square root of 2 n times sigma times p, Na being Avogadro's number. We can take those and compute the total collision rate, the total number of collisions that occur in a sample of gas per unit volume per unit time. If we have two of the same particles, like two nitrogen molecules in gas, that's equal to the cross-sectional area times the square of concentration times the average speed divided by square root of 2. If it's two different particles like nitrogen and oxygen, that's the mean cross-sectional area defined in that video times the product of their concentrations times the relative speed they travel to one another. So for an example, the average number of collisions that occur between nitrogen particles in a uh, sample of gas at 298 Kelvin is 8.9 times 10 to the 28 per milliliter per second. So every cubic centimeter of gas every second has 10 to the 28 collisions, which is an enormous number of collisions. Links to the individual videos in the on-screen annotations as well as in the description.